Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's expedition time. Barrel-aged Expedition Stout is a 13.4% Imperial Stout from Bell's Brewing Company in Comstock, Michigan. I've been recording beer reviews for about a year and a half, and I'm kind of ashamed to say I've never had barrel-aged Expedition Stout, or as I'm going to call it now, and as Smoke on the Street knows it, as BAE. I've also never had Bell's regular Expedition Stout, so I figured it'd be a really good time to introduce them to each other officially. BAE is released once a year in late October, early November-ish, and it seems to not hit a very wide distribution. It's always really sought after, and I think for me, I've only been really starting my beer hunting um, in the last, like I said, year and a half. So BAE's kind of been living in the shadows of other beers. Last year it was CBS. This year it was kind of CBS, but I was still looking for this, and I'm really looking forward to trying this one out, and I'll let you know what I think between these two beers. So let's get a look at the label here of the regular, uh, I'm sorry, of the barrel aged Expedition Stout, and then I'll head over to the regular one and we'll compare and contrast, etc. So the barrel Expedition Stout, actually let's start with the Expedition Stout. The label here is uh, white and blue. It has a, like a compass and a signifier for uh, the north quadrant of this compass and it says Russian Imperial Stout brewed and bottled by Bell's Brewery in Comstock and on the back it says this Russian Imperial Stout Thirst for travel, a huge malt body is matched with a blend of complex chocolate, dark fruit, and roasted aromas. This beer is ready to be enjoyed now or sit perfectly content in your cellar until next journey. And this one was packaged on August 30th, 2018. I looked at a few different stores. This was the most recent packaging I could find. It says it's 10.5% alcohol by volume, and its shelf life is unlimited. And a lot of uh, Bell stouts like Black Note, um, I'm trying to think of some of the other stouts that I've had that basically say Shelf Life Unlimited. Uh, these two are also that same breed. And so on the front of BAE, it says Bourbon Barrel Aged Expedition Stout. Russian Imperial Stout Aged in Bourbon Barrels. Again, uh, brewed and bottled by Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. And on the back of this one, it says this barrel aged version of our award winning Imperial Stout. Thirst for travel, but is Perfectly good content to sit in your cellar, maturing until you're ready. The tough part, deciding if you want to enjoy it now or wait until later. You can't go wrong either way. And this one was packaged on October 16th, 2018. It is Shelf Life Unlimited Alcohol 13.4% by volume. And both have the bellsbeer.com website address. Uh, yeah, so I picked up, I've seen a lot of people were able to pick up four packs of BAE. I was only able to get two, so this is going to be my first bottle, and I'm going to hold on to my second bottle for a, a long time, and we'll see if, maybe if I head to Bell's General Store one of these days, maybe I'll be lucky and they have more of it. Maybe I won't, probably won't be lucky, but whatever. At least I'll have be able to say I've tried them both against each other. Again, this is a really a big shame that I've never had a regular Expedition Stout. So I'm going to grab two uh, tulip glasses here. I'm going to use my Bell's tulip glass for Expedition, and I'm going to, I'm sorry, for BAE and regular Expedition style, it's going to go in my regular tulip glass. So I am ready to get this show on the road. I've been waiting for this. Like I said, I've said in other videos, I've been sick, and I just really wanted to make sure that I was able to smell and taste and enjoy this because I, you know... CBS, they package in those 750 milliliter bottles, and that's great, but I can't drink all that myself in one night, especially if I'm going to do, you know, if I'm going to review it, I'd rather not be totally sloshed, and uh, so it's nice that they have these in regular 12-ounce bottles. The, the Expedition Stout cap is much like the label. It is a blue bottle cap with a compass on it, and let's get a smell out of the, out of the bottle here. It smells very, has a malty kind of smell to it. But there's also this little kind of maybe like a chocolatey kind of scent as well. I almost want to say there's like a, a, a licorice-y kind of scent, but that could be like a dark fruit scent as well. So let's go ahead and pour this. Wow, this is coming out really dark, really thick looking right out of the, right out of the bottle here. And I'm not going to pour this whole thing. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pour the whole thing. Why not? So pouring that, there is really little to no head, but it is very thick, very kind of uh, 
very dark and thick. There is, this is impenetrable. There is like a plum kind of coloration, maybe at the bottom where the very, the very minute amount of light is able to get through and putting a smell, a nose on that. Yeah, it has like a chocolatey dark fruit kind of scent to it and and oof, that just smells dark. That smells like there's no light getting into that beer. So let's go ahead and open BAE. And BAE has a regular kind of nondescript Bell's cap on it, which, you know, maybe you'd think you'd see like a brown expedition cap or something, but oh well. So putting a nose on this. Wow, getting a big bourbon scent out of it. Yeah, I'm really just kind of picking up on a lot of bourbon on the scent, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this one. And this is coming out really thick, but it almost looks a little lighter to me than regular Expedition Stout. It looks very thick, very dark, but it looks a little bit lighter, and it seems like they're, well, the heads are basically roughly the same, not very much to speak of. And this is a little lighter, and I think maybe the, the bourbon barrel aging kind of diluted it a little bit, but let's put a better nose out of the glass here. Yeah, I'm getting a big alcohol bourbon-y kind of bite scent out of it. Yeah, so I'm picking up a lot of bourbon scent out of the, out of the, out of the beer in the glass here. So I'm going to try Expedition Stout first. Cheers. Very much dark chocolate, very dark chocolate taste in there. Getting a lot of those dark fruits as well. Some smokiness, borderline kind of, when I say dark fruits, I mean like borderline raisin almost, but not as sweet as raisin, but it has a lot of chocolate character. I don't know if I'm getting a coffee though. I think the coffee kind of scent that I'm picking up is more of kind of a roasted, smoky kind of taste. Mouthfeel is thick, but not coating. Very thick. I mean, this is... I feel like because of the thickness of this, the texture of it, it feels like 10.5%. It's not like one of those beers that's like 9% and it's really light and airy and it's like, oh, it tastes like it's 6%. No, this you can definitely tell this is a little bit higher ABV. So I'm going to jump into BAE here, which is almost um, almost 3% higher ABV. Again, getting a lot of bourbony taste out of it. I'm almost kind of afraid to try this, to be honest. So I'm getting a lot of that bourbon taste, but I'm also getting the chocolate. I'm also getting, it's almost like a sweeter dark fruit kind of taste. And I'm, and I'm getting like an oaky kind of taste out of as well from the barrel. It's really good. It's a really good play on regular Expedition Stout. Um, it's very thick mouthfeel. It's a little bit more coating on the tongue because it's got, I think the bourbon kind of adds a little bit to that Cody kind of feeling that you get on your tongue as you swallow. Definitely. They're both definitely sippers, but I think that BAE is a, is a little bit more of a special occasion kind of beer. I really like it. I like the, the bourbon taste is a little bit more subdued than the scent because the scent was like straight up alcohol kind of burning on my nose almost but the flavor the taste you get the bourbon's there but it's not burning i don't have like a burning feeling on my chest it's definitely not subtle and i'm getting smokiness now as i kind of talk about it and i let it kind of sit in my you know as it's kind of passed over my tongue there is a little bit of an alcohol bite on the tail end um, that's all I can really describe it as. It's kind of like you can taste the bourbon in there, right? It's got a really strong bourbon taste, but not overpoweringly strong, but it also doesn't kill the chocolate taste that you get and the smokiness that I got out of this, but I'm not really picking up so much on the dark fruit that I was getting on Expedition Stout. The thing that, um, I think that Expedition Stout, while it's not an everyday stout, like I, I like stouts, but I, this isn't one I could drink every day. This is more of like a 
a special occasion or if I'm just going to have one, I'm just going to relax and have a beer. I think I would go more for expedition stout. But if it was more like a special occasion, if a buddy was coming over, if you had a friend that you lives out of state and you hadn't haven't seen him for a while and you just kind of want to, you know, talk about what's been going on in your lives for the last year, however, two years, three years, five years, and you haven't seen each other, that, that I would lean more towards um, barrel aged BAE. Uh, barrel-aged expedition stout. It's more like a special occasion kind of beer, something that you'd want to share with somebody. I don't think necessarily that I would want to pour all 12 ounces into my own glass and just sit there on a Sunday night and, hey, I'm going to watch the football game and kick back and drink a beer. Now, if I'm going to sit back and drink a beer, uh, watch the football game on a Sunday night or a Monday night, and I'm just going to have one, I'm going to go with expedition stout. If it's more of a special occasion, uh, I would definitely go with BAE because it feel it almost has more of like this regal quality to it because it has that bourbon, because it has that smoky flavor to it, and it be, because it has that kind of alcohol bite to it, it reminds me more of, of drinking bourbon, to be honest, but without all that bourbon taste. There still has that stout. Those stout qualities are still there. They're still fighting through. They've still fought through that bourbon, and I think it's an excellent beer. But again, I think it's not one that I would want to drink every day. And as it warms, it kind of picks up the, the bourbon seems like it's fading a little bit more. It's still there, but it's not nearly as in your face as when I drank it, you know, cold uh, or colder. You know, it warms up relatively quickly. So I still think this is a good, really special occasion beer or it's good that they sell it in four packs and it's hard to get because you want to age this. You only want to drink it at special occasions, whereas maybe uh, Expedition Stout might be something that you could drink more often and more regularly but it's they're both one and done. So like I don't know if I could drink several of both of these or you know drink back to back you know multiples or switch back and forth. More of a special occasion beer and more of an everyday beer, but still both I consider because of that thickness uh, and it's complex. It's not like a straight up like a sweeter stout. I would think that for me this would be more of like a one and doneer, uh, and this would be a more of a special occasion kind of beer for me personally. All right, friends, that has been BAE and Expedition Stout. Have you been able to track down BAE and have you compared it like this to Expedition? Let me know what you think in the comments down below this video. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm here talking Michigan beer, and the best part about it is it's absolutely free to viewers just like you. You can also find links to my social media, some merch, a custom Tiku glass, links to all, I, all the gear I use in these videos, and a link to my blog at drafttherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.